Hello, Main Street Stock Investors. Welcome to Market Talk Monday on the Paul Mampilli YouTube channel, the home of bold, profit, strong hands nation. I'm Amber Lancaster. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, today, Bold Profits newest team member, Dan Shiflett, is joining me in a get to know you interview. So Dan, for those who may not know, has taken on the role of junior investment analyst and is a key support analyst working closely with Paul on several trading services. And I have to say, it's just the beginning for Dan and you'll be hearing and reading more from him as the months go by. But today, let's just get to know Dan. So hello, Dan, thank you for joining me today on Market Talk, good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Good to see you too, Amber. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, just again, some housekeeping items before we begin. Please remember to click that subscribe button to this channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the content. And of course, you can visit us at boldprofitsdaily.com to sign up for our free investment e-letters. So let's get started. So Dan, I'd like to actually take this opportunity to publicly and formally welcome you to the Bold Profits family. I am so glad, so very glad that you're actually with us. And if it's okay uh, for today, I would like to just take a few minutes to ask you some questions so we can all learn more about you, your investing style, and actually just what insightful information you plan to share with our wonderful Bold Profits and Banyan Hill readers, Banyan Hill Publishing readers. So my first question to you, Dan, is first, it's very simple. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? Uh, what is your educational career background history? We'd love to know. Okay, yeah. Um, so I'm born and raised in Maryland, um, about 30 minutes outside of Baltimore City. Mm -hmm. um, educational background, uh, I got my bachelor's degree in nursing. So, um, so I'm a registered nurse. Cool. Um, but all throughout nursing school, um, even a little before that, I always was intrigued with the stock market and uh, things like that. And then um, in 2017, uh, invested in Bitcoin. Um, and then that just kind of led down a whole skew of things and then going into ETFs and stocks and options. And it just kind of went down the rabbit hole after that. I love it. So I love that you actually have found your passion and and we we admire all of our medical professionals, obviously, beyond measure. And I'm glad that you have actually added on to that, which is a, a, admirable, which is investing. So my next question to you, Dan, well, just something fun, fun hobby. What did what do you like to do in your spare time? What hobbies do you like to do? <laughs> Um, my number one favorite hobby would just be just going to the gym, just lifting weights. Um, uh, I like to be competitive, so going with friends and stuff like that. You can um, compete with with friends and just um, kind of bond over over just weightlifting. Um, so that's definitely my number one thing, my favorite hobby. Try and do it as, as much as I can, and it's healthy, so yeah, really enjoy it. Oh yeah, now that's something in itself, weightlifting. My goodness, congratulations on that feat. <laughs> <laughs> so I, now back to investing. I want to know what got you interested in the investing world? What was that that trigger, that catalyst that made you think about investing in general? Yeah, um, so I mean, growing up, my dad was always big into investing. Um, and then when 2017 came around, um, my dad and my brother and a few friends had uh, mentioned um, Bitcoin. So that was how I kind of got my first start was uh, early 2017 investing in Bitcoin. Um, and then when Bitcoin took off, excuse me, and had that huge, huge run in 2017. Um, it just kind of opened up my eyes to a whole new, new thing and uh, the world of investing. And it just kind of took off from there. And really just, yeah, like I said, it came into ETFs and the different stocks and options. And then just um, reading up, um, reading books, watching YouTube videos, watching you and Paul and, and Ian on Ian, Iancast um, and many others. And yeah, it just kind of took off and I loved it. It didn't even seem like work. It was just, it was like a, my my favorite hobby at the time. It still is one of my favorite hobbies. Well, of course. And, and I'm glad it's a hobby that turned to you toward where we are today to Bull yeah. Profits family. So welcome there. So of your, what is, I want to know, what is your favorite part of investing? Is it, do you like to focus on stocks or you have more options? You've mentioned exchange traded funds, ETFs. What What is your, your special favorite focus? <laughs> Um, my favorite is definitely, uh, trading options. Um, just the aspect of risking 
less money for potentially um, bigger gains mm-hmm. um, and just kind of weighing that risk reward ratio when, when picking options. Mm-hmm. Um, that's definitely kind of like my bread and butter. I love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> And of since you're really interested in investing options, I'd like to, if you can please explain further your current role. I mentioned you're a junior investment analyst, but tell us what you are doing um, behind the scenes to help uh, make the Bull Profits product that much better. Yeah, so uh, I I uh, work on um, policy portfolio and uh, True Momentum, mm-hmm. um, helping write um, updates, um, helping keeping track of of the stocks, the movements, um, any news that there's, um, there's stocks in the portfolio um, release. Um, and I also work a lot with Ian on um, Rebound Profit Trader and Rapid Profit Trader, um, those option services. So it kind of, it's, it's nice. I get to kind of get a mixture of a lot of things and, and really try and, um, you know, get a broad spectrum of, of uh, the, the uh, junior analyst role in a lot of different ways. And I'm glad you actually mentioned one great person, Ian Dyer's name. Tell us if I hear a birdie has told me that there's a special connection between you and Ian. If you don't mind sharing with the Bull Profits world, what would that be? Yeah, uh, so I actually kind of like grew up with Ian. Um, met him in middle school, actually. Um, we've been in bowling leagues together, soccer teams together. Um, I think we even played baseball together at one point. Um, so yeah, I grew up with him. Um, awesome guy. Uh, he's definitely helped me along the way of investing. Uh, we've had a lot of, a lot of good conversations, um, about Bitcoin and options and ETFs and things like that. Um, so he's definitely, um, guided me along this journey. So yeah, it's been been pretty good, pretty good. I think that's excellent. That's a great team member to have since childhood through adulthood and have that rapport going forward into the investing realm. I think that's a a top notch combination. So I'm glad that you have that connection there. So my next question to you, um, Dan, is we know at Bold Profits are all about talking about the fourth industrial revolution and America 2.0 stock type stock investing. We follow certain mega trends. Uh, for those who may not know, we have, uh, I'll put it on, a, on the, the list on the screen. These are the mega trends that we follow here at Bull Profits all the time where Paul sees where we are headed, uh, where investing is concerned and potential mega gains are concerned. So of these mega trends, Dan, which one interests you the most? Um, I would say 3D printing is definitely kind of one that um, piques my interest the most. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's fairly new. I mean, I know like um, AI is also fairly new and EV, uh, but 3D printing, I just feel like the sky is the limit. I mean, it's it's just developing with, you know, 3D printing houses, 3D printing um, just like machine parts, um, like microchips. And I know they're even trying to 3D print like kidneys and hearts. And if, you know, coming from a medical background, I mean, just that if it prolongs life for people, like that's huge. It's, you know, and we're just at, you know, just at the start of what 3D printing can do. So who knows what it can do in 10, 20, you know, 30 years. It's just going to be absolutely crazy. So, yeah, it's definitely exciting to follow and um, and uh, see, see where 3D printing ends up and what it can um, bring society. I'm so glad that's one of your favorites, Dan, because given your educational and past career and past career background in the medical field i would love if you could keep all of us abreast on what new 3d printing biomedical breakthroughs are are on the horizon and what we can look forward to as far as just for our general health as well as investing uh possibilities so we look forward to reading and hearing from you on that going forward yeah for sure so dan what i want to know or my last question to you what is your number one goal as a team member of bull profits and what it what it means for helping our bull profits family, our Main Street of Stock investors going forward, what do you want to accomplish uh, as a member of the team for our readers and viewers? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I realized like my, uh, my uh, kind of career change is really wouldn't be possible without subscribers. Um, so, you know, I realized that and I know subscribers, you know, pay, pay money for our services. Mm-hmm. And my goal is to really give them what, you know, they, they had paid for and really do my part and try and give them the best information, the most relative information. So that way they can make the best decisions, whether to follow a portfolio, you know, buy and sell with flash alerts mm-hmm. um, and getting that information out there um, as quickly and as, as reliably as possible. Um, so that the way they can grow their portfolio um, and keep on subscribing and, you know, just kind of goes around and they can grow their portfolio be, yeah, that's my main goal. 
I think that's a great goal to have, Dan, uh, because without our subscribers, we would really have no real purpose, and they are our purpose, and to yeah. help, help Main Street stock investors realize gains and, and just have a better financial future for themselves and their family. So, Dan, I really enjoyed getting to know you more during this interview. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thanks for having me. It's been great. Oh, wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you again in the near future. So, Dan, thank you again. Take care. Have a wonderful week ahead. All right. You too. Thank you again to Dan for joining us today. It was actually just great getting to know him better, as I said before. And just like Dan mentioned earlier in the earlier part of our interview, um, when Bitcoin was one of his uh, first forays into the world of investing, and like so many investors, he witnessed its volatility over the years. But I want to remind you, Bull Profits Nation, that we are bullish on the long-term outlook for cryptocurrencies, despite its re renowned of volatility. Actually, I have to say, Paul tweeted last week uh, after the Bitcoin crypto mini crash, yeah, I'll put it on the screen, that quote, based on past experience, it feels like it will immediately upswing back to the top of the range uh, to where it was before, which was $41,000, and then start pushing back to the old high. Still hashtag BOP, bullish, optimistic, positive on $250,000 in 12 months. And to illustrate Paul's point further, just a bit further, uh, check out this Bloomberg percentage change tracking, a chart that shows the ups and the downs of Bitcoin's price since 2017. And as you can see, we've seen notable swings, a short term gains of as much as 426 percent, followed by fast downswings of as much as 61 percent. But through it all, those investors in it for the long term have realized gains of as much as 30 that's sorry, when I say 3,200%, 3,200% or higher since the beginning of 2017, enough to turn a $10,000 investment into $330,000. So investing in the cryptocurrency market, it does have its risks, but it as it grows and proliferates, key investing opportunities will present themselves. So Paul, along with Ian Dyer, our senior investment analyst here at Bull Profits, will very, very soon launch a cryptocurrency trading service called Crypto Flash Trader. So if you want to invest in cryptos using bold profits investing style, please click the strong hands icon above my shoulder to get all the details. Now turning to the economic, the U.S. economic calendar week ahead, there will be seven major economic releases. On Tuesday, let's begin with Tuesday, uh, June's Consumer Confidence, well, that will post at 10 a.m. On Wednesday, June's ADP Employment Change and m and Chicago PMI, which is actually Chicago, uh, Chicago's business barometer, uh, will post at 8.15 a.m. and 9.45 a.m. respectively. On Thursday, June's final print for market U.S. manufacturing PMI, May's construction spending, and June's ISM manufacturing will post between 9.45 a.m. and 10 a.m. And on Friday, oh, it's the big one, June's jobs report will post at 8.30 a.m. And of these releases, well, we'll be watching construction spending, ISM manufacturing, and of course, the June's jobs report. And know that you can follow Paul, Ian, and me on Twitter at Guru, at Ian Dyer Guru, and at A Lancaster Guru. Throughout the trading week, I do aim to post our hashtag BOP take on most of these economic releases. So thank you for everyone for tuning in this week. We appreciate you so much. And until next time, take care. <laughs>